Hey guys, welcome back to Trailmakers. Today, we are going to move all of these containers. Let's get right into it. So, this, I made this. This is very similar to something that um is real um like in real life so this basically so i moved this summer and um there's this company it's called pods and they had this little like well it was a lot smaller Compared to the person. I mean. Compared to normal people. But. This just fits these containers. So. I just went with that. Um. But. I want to make a truck. Just like the one in real life. Um. To put this. Containers onto a truck. And then eventually onto a dock crane over there, probably, you know, future episode. And then onto a ferry, or no, a cargo boat. So that's my eventual uh, want. But, I'm going to show you, so you press Q and E to strafe, um, A and D for wheel steering. Um, it turns really slow because it needs to turn really slow to be able to, you know, um, get in the right spot, basically. So, and then forward and backward is not very fast either but that's a good thing because you don't want it to wheelie no excuse me I do have a problem of they're all too close together so I have to like oh, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to get out obviously so like my character Pretty, okay, it doesn't want to scoot over. But for some reason, I can push it. With this tiny little dude, can push this. Wow, okay. Only, I can't push it, like, I just stop. Like, he doesn't even try to walk. But, if I go like that, use the, uh, gravity tool or whatever I don't even know like what is this anybody know what the gun is called in trailmakers like does it have a name I don't know so yeah you just go over it And then you press space, and now it's locked in. So you can turn and go forward at the same time, and it goes a little bit faster. But obviously, this thing doesn't um, go very far, because the truck takes it most of the way. It's supposed to take it. You know, most of the way. So, I guess let's get into building the truck. Um, it's gonna have to be a flatbed. So, I'm not gonna make it super detailed right now. I might. I'm up. Well, I don't know. So, probably American style. Okay, I'm finished. Um, yeah, there's not much 
to say I'm just you know done I don't know why it's rocking it's kind of weird but yeah it has terrible turning radius I put only um, raw engines in here so it slow acceleration high top speed um, so just like a normal truck um, I think the flatbed should be fine so let's just park this like we're going to um, like pick up stuff looks like this road right now oh okay. why does that go into the mountain hmm some lore interesting I don't know okay park that there we'll go get our little dolly thingy I guess it's still black or red whatever good thing the new damage physics updated everything so it doesn't break when it hits stuff so you might be wondering how in the world am I supposed to get this on there ah, don't worry I already planned for that um but is this wide enough to fit onto the truck oh it is Barely. Go this way. Oh, wrong way. I don't know why it's rocking. That's super weird. Uh oh. Can I get over the tires? I think I should be able to. Here we go. Thank goodness, new damage physics. And we just Z. And we are now on top of the vehicle. I just realized I should put a magnet in the front of this so that it will stay in on in on whatever but yeah now it looks literally like the real thing hmm wow cool oh gotta go this way that loose some speed brakes oh that was a Big old jolt. Uh oh. That was almost too steep. And then we get out of this. Also, it's really useful that the two seats are very far away from each other. So now we just back this thing on up come on oh it was stuck come on <clears throat> am I grunting I don't think grunting is going to help is this magnet to itself it shouldn't be Hold up. I can now move. Uh oh. What in the world, bro? Oh. Just reset it. Perfect. Come on. Okay. Those back tires are going to need to move in a block. Uh 
Oh, uh, whenever I go backward, I can't turn. I forgot about that. Maybe lower it because we don't need the center of mass so high. And no, I meant to turn. And this is where it would get picked up and put on a ship. Cool beans. I can't turn while going backward. I forgot about that. Yeah, it just completely stops everything. I forget about that. Cool beans. So that means this can only be transported when it has a... a container on it but I think I can make this lower and then we can like that just put this like there and then we just copy all of them It's spot. This should be good. Excuse me. This one, it's, it's good on. Okay, now, save this. Actually, I want this to be like a metal color, so. Perfect. So now the magnets or lower so. so the magnets are lower so that when I pick up a thing and then go onto the truck it can pick up the entire device higher up so yep yeah. well I think that's it that's all I wanted to do today um, I don't know how long I've been recording for but hopefully not too long. Oh, I'm in the passenger seat. Right. Gonna be on, on this side. Because I'm American. Cool. I, I like how this turned out. It's super simple. I went with the older, like, the older uh, ones because it's obviously a lot more blocky and the blocks in the game just match it better so make sure it's saved cool. and I'm going to have to bring more cargo over there when I want to do the cargo uh, chip and crane so stay tuned for that um, I guess that's it. Please uh, comment down below what you want to see next. Um, yeah. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Um, this has been Groot, and I will uh, see y'all in the next one. Bye!